Hello everyone. We are taking one more example for the conversion of V epsilon NFA to the NFA. And uh, the states that we have are P, Q, and R. So we'll first compute the uh, transition of P with A. So we know that we will have to compute epsilon star, then A, and then epsilon star means epsilon closer. So epsilon closer, then B, then epsilon closer, then epsilon closer with C, and then epsilon closer. So the epsilon closer of P. So P can remain at this state only by taking the symbol uh, epsilon. And uh, P can move to state Q also by getting a symbol epsilon. And P can go to state R also by getting the symbol epsilon. So this is defined epsilon, epsilon. It can move to state Q and it can go to state R as well. Now, uh, P on getting A, P on getting A. Let's see if it, it is defined. No, it is not defined. So let's write phi here. Now Q on getting A. So Q on getting A moves to state P. Now R on getting a symbol A, which is undefined. So now I'll compute the epsilon closer. So for phi, it is undefined epsilon closer. For P, the epsilon closer will be P, Q, and R. We already have computed that. So P on getting a symbol. A moves to P, Q, R, all the states. Similarly, for transition with B, so the epsilon closer of P will be P, Q, and R. P on B, so P on B moves to state Q, and Q on B moves to state R, and R on B is undefined. Now state Q, the epsilon closer of state Q will be Q only. It will not go to any other state. Now, epsilon closer of R will be only R state. It will not go to any other state. And now phi, epsilon closer of phi will be phi. So we are leaving it that as such. Now for transition with C, we'll first compute the epsilon closer of P. That is P, Q, and R. So P on C. You can see that P on C moves to R. Now Q on C remains at state Q. And it moves to state P also. So P or Q on C not only goes to a state C, but it goes to state P as well. So epsilon closer of R is R, epsilon closer of Q is Q and R. No, sorry, epsilon closer of Q is only Q. And the epsilon closer of P will be P, Q, and R. So if we will take the union of these three, uh, these uh, values, so this will be P, Q, R only. Now let's define the transition with Q. So the epsilon closer of Q is only Q. And Q on getting a symbol A moves to state P and P on getting a symbol uh, P uh, epsilon closer of P will be P, Q and R. And then epsilon closer of Q will be Q and then epsilon closer of Q will be epsilon closer of Q will be uh, Q only and then the movement of Q with the symbol B is uh, R. And uh, epsilon closer of R will be R. Fine. So after this, we are defining the epsilon closer of Q, which is Q. We already have computed that. Now Q on getting a symbol C, it moves to three states, which is two states, which are P and Q. Okay. Then the epsilon closer of P will be PQR and epsilon closer of Q will be only Q. Okay. Now let's compute the transition with the symbol R. So epsilon closer of R is only R. R on A is undefined and the epsilon closer of that will also be undefined. Similarly, R on epsilon closer on R is R. With B, it moves to no state. So this will also be phi epsilon closer. So the epsilon closer of R is R. For the symbol C, it is undefined. So epsilon closer of that will also be undefined. So now let's draw the NFA table for this. So P, Q, and R, these are the states. The symbols which are there for showing the transitions are A, B, and C symbols. So P on getting a symbol A. So these will be moving to state P. Q and R.
Now P on getting a symbol B moves to state Q and R. P on getting a symbol C will take the union of uh, all these, so which will be PQR. Now, uh, for Q symbol, if I take the transition with A, it moves to P, Q, and R. And then Q uh, with small b moves to a state R only. With symbol C, it moves to P, Q, and R all states because these are the values and we have to take the union of these. Now R on A, R on B, and R on C is undefined. So this is the transition table for the NFA. And finally, we can draw the NFA. So P is the start state. Yes, we will have to define the final state also. Let's look at uh, this one. And here, R was the final state. So since R was the final state and P was the initial state, so for the transition table that we are showing, P will remain the start state for final state. Is there any state to wherein I can reach to by only taking a symbol epsilon? So final state is R and I can reach to R by P by only taking a symbol epsilon. So in that case, P will also be the final state. So R is also final state, P will also be the final state. But can I reach to state R by only taking X epsilon? No, it is not. I can reach from P to Q in epsilon. So this is defined. But I cannot reach to R with only taking epsilon. So I'll say that Q is a non-final state. So let's draw the NFA transition diagram using this table. So P is the initial state and it is the final state also. Now P moves to state P and P moves to state Q also and P moves to state R also and R is the final state using the symbol A. So let's write A here, let's write A here and let's write A here. So P on getting a symbol B moves to Q and R. So I'm just applying a comma here. P on getting a symbol C moves to state P, Q and R all. So AC, it is ABC, it is ABC. Now if Q on getting a symbol, a small a moves to state P, it remains at itself and it goes to state R also. Now Q on getting a symbol B only goes to state R. Q on getting a symbol small c goes to state P, Q and R. So these are the defined symbols. So P on, so Q on getting a small c moves to state P, Q and R. Now the transitions from R is undefined. These are all phi's. So this is the equivalent NFA for the given epsilon NFA. So I hope uh, whatever uh, method that we have defined here, you must have got a practice and you must have got understood these, these things. From the subsequent lectures, I will discuss about some of the questions which has been asked in the university examinations. So thanks for watching this video.